some lipsticks that I'm kind of meh about, and an eyeshadow palette that I'm kind of digging. That's right, it's time for Tuesday Reviews. The Kitty Bag of Doom is back. I'm Deborah, also known as Doomage42. Now, in the kitty bag here, adorable kitty bag, little floofy tail, I put some items and I'm going to review some beauty items. Um, as we pull them out, we'll see whether the kitty bag of doom is giving me bad stuff or good stuff today. Hmm. First item out of the bag today is a mascara that I'm just not into. I tried to give Avon a try again. Yes. This is one of their mascaras. Uh, Big False Lash is what it says. Did I hate it? No. Did I really like it? Not really. Not enough for the price. It was about seven or eight dollars. I don't remember exactly. This is supposed to give you big false lashes. What I noticed was I curled my lashes, put this on, and the curl went. It just dropped right out. You curl your lashes to make them more visible. If they flatten back out and go straight, that's not so good. It is super black. A little floofy brush-like deal going, just like most of the makeup brushes we've got around. But for the money, my Rimmel mascara is better. Now, Rimmel is a drugstore brand. I actually pick it up at Walmart usually. Very inexpensive. They've got a bunch of different formulas and I've been happy with it. It has kept me from buying the $25 tube of mascara. Yeah, because I like a bargain and I like when something works. This, not too much of a bargain and eh, kind of work. I mean, it darkens your lashes up and if you've got super whammonine curl in your lashes already, then yeah, this will probably be great for you. If not, if you curl your lashes like I do, this is just gonna make them droop, droop, droop. Nobody likes droopy lashes. Okay, maybe somebody does. That was kind of a blanket statement, but I think you know what I mean. The next thing out of my kitty bag of doom is lipstick. I'm gonna pull two of them out because I bought two. I wanted to see what the different formulas were like. Both of these guys are from Avon. I'm wearing one of them today. It's a nice color, but it really doesn't deliver what it says it delivers, okay? This color says bold. Okay, we're going to do the eye trick here. It says bold lipstick, power plum. The picture showed really dark purple. I mean, look at this sucker. Let's get all up in there. Yeah, almost a fuchsia dark purple plum, right? Look what it does on my lips. Coming in for a close-up. Not very colorful. And this was two layers of this stuff. Put it on a little blot, put on some more. Um, and it already looks like I need to apply again. And I've just had it on for about 15 minutes. It does not wear well. It feels nice when you put it on. It's a nice color. It's not the color it promised, but it doesn't suck. But it just doesn't make me that happy that I have to keep reapplying. Similar one is their color, is their color brown something. I can't read it, the print is that tiny. Um, pop it open, nice case though, nice little lipstick case. Nice little brown kind of color brown and sort of um, shimmery. I'll swatch it on my hand for you. Feels nice going on. And it's not a bad color. I really actually adore the color. I just wish it would stay on better. Just a little wiping on it and I'm not wiping hard and it just goes away. I love trying new lipstick colors, but at over $6 a tube, I think actually these were on sale, so they were like $6.50, otherwise they're like eight bucks. No, if I'm gonna spend $8 on a tube of lipstick, I want it to flip and perform. Um, Revlon has great lipsticks in that price range. So does Maybelline. These Avon lipsticks, not so much. And for trying out new colors, 
I generally go to Wet n Wild. Uh, they have 93 cent lipsticks that I buy all the time. It's like, ooh, kind of an interesting color. Even if it doesn't wear all day and stuff like some of the really high end things that I like to buy, it still gives me an idea what this color family is going to look like on me. If I'm going to enjoy the color on this face. So yeah, 93 cents is a whole lot better spending than six or seven bucks each. Am I going to toss these? No. I'll still wear them because I really do like this color. At least put it on, you know, for an Instagram photo because it's kind of pretty. But I wish it wore better and I wish it was as bold as it says it was going to be. It just didn't quite deliver for me. Mm. There's my Avon trial again after many, many years. And finally, out of the kitty bag of doom, I usually like to save the best for last when I have a few products that I'm dealing with. This one was kind of an unusual one. It's an eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette was kind of neat. I saw it sitting on clearance, of course, because hello, clearance, bargain hunter, um, on clearance at Walgreens. And it's called Nani Cream Marvelous Matte. More about that in a minute. Uh, Color Prevails Watercolor Eyeshadow Palette. I like the little butterfly motif, got that whole butterfly wing going on there. And then when you open it, you got a little place for your thumb that I automatically stick it in. It's like an artist palette. It's got a little magnetic closure. You open it up. No mirror. Hmm. But it tells you about colors and trying some things out and, you know, a little pep talk on your eyeshadow palette. Okay. You can flip that down and just hold it like a palette. Comes with a brush that I didn't bother using because I have eyeshadow brushes that I really like. But these colors are actually nice. They're vibrant. They're fairly well pigmented. The formulas are actually pretty nice. I paid on clearance, I think it was $3.79 for this palette. The, pal the uh, pans are not tiny. Looks like you're gonna get a lot of use out of it because it is, it is kind of deep there. You see the little deep palettes. Um, but yeah. I've actually been pretty pleased with it. Let me give you a close up. I'm wearing it today, a little halo look going on. What I have there is I've got the uh, cashmere, that blue color, sort of around the outside edges of my eyes, around, around the crease and a little bit underneath. Then I have got the chiffon, that sort of teal blue kind of color, very pastel-y, very nice, sort of inside that little crease color. And then on my lid, I've got silk, that lovely little purpley color, because you all know I love purple. Hello, look at the hair. Nice colors. I've made a sort of a warmer pastel look out of this too, using the organza and the tweed. And I even use cashmere to line my eyes. I took my liner brush, sprayed a little of uh, primer mist on it, get it wet, dip it in there, and line my eyes with it. So you can do a lot with this palette. The only thing that kind of bugged me about this palette was, it says Marvelous Mattes. Putting this shadow on, I'll give you a look again. Do you see anything matte about any of those shadows? I don't think so. The blue, that cashmere, actually goes on a little bit matte. Everything else is as shimmery as you can get without calling it an outright shimmer. I bought this because I wanted some matte colors. I'm not mad at it, though, because I have enjoyed using it. But let's do a little swatchness here, okay? I'll try to hold this so that I can do it well. This lace, a little light pink color. I just took the lightest of swatches, so yeah, there's not much there. Hello, that is shimmery. The cashmere, again, this is uh, probably the most matte out of the ones I've tried. So yeah, that one does go on a little bit matte, but you can still see some shimmer in that. The cotton, which is that light sort of highlighter color up top, look, shimmer and I've been wearing this chiffon a lot. I've really kind of been in love with that green-blue color. That totally reflects the light. That is totally shimmery. Here, let's just smear some on my hand. I, you know, I can't do a video without having eyeshadow all over my hands, okay? That's shimmery too. 
So aside from the sort of misnomer about it being marvelous mattes, I'm kind of, they're great colors for spring, maybe going into summer. They match my hair. Cause you know, I've gone with uh, purple and green and blue and I kind of like colors that match that sometimes. So yeah, the colors go on nicely. They blend pretty well, but they're not matte. Don't tell me it's matte if it's not matte. That matte make me matte. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> anyway, that's been Tuesday Reviews. What do you think? Has anybody else picked up this palette? If not, you might want to. It's kind of cool, but you may have to find it on clearance. I know, I don't pick stuff up until it's cheap. Who knew? Bargain Hunter. Um, the lipsticks though, the Avon. Have you had a different experience with Avon stuff than I have? Let me know. Let me know if there's products that I should be trying. Maybe those lipsticks weren't the thing. And let me know also what you think I should review next. I'm always trying new stuff. More reviews coming soon. More of other stuff co coming soon too. Click up here for some more Tuesday reviews. Down here, please subscribe. Also, like this video before you leave. That would make me super happy. See you next time.